I'm still mad. You were wrong to use Michael to put Sonny in prison, but I get why you did it. You do? I do. You believe that our lives will be better with Sonny out of the picture. Your plan was doomed to fail. That was the problem. I worked there for a little while. <laughs> Michael was bound to come forward eventually anyway, right? You know, he's not like the rest of us. He can't keep that big of a lie. He can't handle that, and he can't keep fighting the guilt that constantly gnaws at you. And God only knows what's going to happen to him or who he's going to be, but I know one thing. He could have never let Sonny take the fall for something he did. If we just would have stopped for one minute the night Claudia died and thought, just thought, I don't know, we would have saved ourselves a lot of grief. Can you tell I've had a lot of time to think and think and think? Even though I'm still mad at your methods, it would be very hypocritical for me to be so mad. I think there's enough fault here to bear, so. Yeah, I think you're right. I think everyone's at fault. Okay, so, um, you've been right about Sonny. He needs to be out of our lives, and I want to be united with you on that. Okay. Well, on, on that happy note, I, I think I'm going to leave and <laughs> savor the moment. It means a lot. It's not going to go down as one of my favorites. Uh, like there, there's something I'm trying not to tell you. Okay. Um, what is it? Uh, Franco's resurfaced. What? Yeah, he reached out. Me and then Maxie and now uh, Carly. He's made contact? Yeah, he sent crime scene photos in the mail. Um, do we know what he's saying? Not right now, but I guess we gotta be prepared for anything. Wow, I just, I didn't think that we would ever have to deal with that maniac again. Well, you know, the good thing is that he won't be able to operate under darkness anymore. Everyone's coming forward to the authorities, even Carly. We're gonna catch him, okay? But in the meantime, you just gotta be a little more careful. If you feel threatened or if you feel like someone's following yeah, I'll call you, you, or anything, right you better. Because if anything were to happen to you again while on my watch, I could never forgive myself. Well, as long as you have my back, I'm not worried. Speaking of your back. Dante, I thought I heard... Hey, honey. What's got you so fascinated? Oh, you see that building over there? The top floor? It's John's penthouse. You can see it from anywhere in the city, which I guess is pretty much the point. It's taunting, sunny. Here I am. Come get me. You look sad. Is everything all right between you guys? I think it's pretty much over between me and John. Are you sure about that? I mean, maybe it was just a really bad fight. I don't know. Johnny must really be something. Yeah, he really is. Why would you think so? I was just thinking about you back in the day. Always such a mystery. <laughs> That was a freaking open book. No, you were a mystery. <laughs> I'm serious, you were gorgeous. 
guys fell for you left and right, babies, grandpas, didn't matter. <laughs> but you never, you know, had a serious relationship. I guess after Sonny. When you come here and Johnny just cuts right in. Well, you know what they say about love. It happens when you least expect it. Right? I walked into Jake's last night and Johnny was sitting at the bar. And nothing was ever the same. I'm sorry it didn't work out between you guys. Well, I guess we hadn't built an expiration date. So. How do you figure? You know, there was just a lot working against us. You know, the age difference was the least of our trouble. It was the mob, Sonny, especially Sonny. But I tell you what, what John and I had, what we had it, it doesn't get any more real than that. That man is directly responsible for some of the happiest moments of my life. Claudia got killed, and, and the truth came out about Sonny and Dante, and just John's hatred just took over. And now I hardly recognize him. Look, there's a reason my previous attempts at offering advice have failed. Okay, I'm probably the least qualified person to warn Christina away from an unsuitable companion. Even Ethan doesn't think there's anything wrong with us pretending to be together. No, 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 no. I didn't say that. Okay. I mean, if you want to end this pseudo dating game, then just say no. I did say no many times. But I won't listen. So please tell Johnny to stop being such a downer. Why do I have to keep reminding everyone we're not having sex? We're just pretending to get a reaction on my dad. Okay. okay. We're not talking about an ordinary daddy here who plays golf on the weekends. We're talking about Sonny Corinthos, scary crime boss. Okay, I mean, you remember what he wanted to do to me when he thought I hurt you. Look, on second thought, you and I do need to have a serious conversation about this. Come on. Thank you. 